What's up YouTube? Got a uh, how-to video for you here. This is going to be how you install a 100 amp sub panel uh, off your main 200 amp breaker box. Uh, I've got a 100 year old house here. I am uh, remodeling. I'm adding uh, all new wiring. The house is uh, old knob and tube and so I'm taking knob and tube wiring and going from that to you know modern wiring and uh, well the house is just all torn apart we're gonna do it right and so it's a multi-story house and so I'm just gonna add a sub panel on the second floor to uh, supply the uh, upstairs here because we've got uh, two separate HVAC systems we've got one in the basement and one in the attic and uh, some other things that are going up here so I just decided to put in a um, uh, sub panel up here and also it's not solely for ease it's also cost the uh, uh, it's an older house with uh, 12 foot ceilings so the cost of running uh, copper from the basement uh, up into the attic and down again is uh, kind of significant since it's about 85 cable feet from the breaker box to the attic so we're going from you know all the runs for upstairs uh, running 85 feet uh, plus each way versus uh, you know from the upstairs up into the attic and down which you know your runs are a lot shorter your voltage drop is a lot lower and uh, it's a lot less work and uh, you know crap saves some money uh, I just didn't put in one big wire up here versus you know a hundred well not a hundred but probably 20 little uh, circuits so I'm gonna turn the camera around here and show you what I'm doing Here's the uh, aforementioned box. Again, it's a Square D32 breaker box. Uh, oops, catch them on my camera here. Got the. Uh, it's actually not a bad deal. It came from Home Depot. Uh, it was 130 bucks, and you got five breakers with it. Uh, I would have just as soon gotten one that did not have the main breaker in it here. Uh, they didn't have any, and uh, um, there's not really much else in the way of uh, you know home uh, supply in here in town so that pretty much had to go with that uh, it was either this one for 130 bucks or 80 bucks for a 20 circuit box and uh, I'm pretty much the sort of person that always upsizes especially if you're gonna add more things later I just assume have the extra breakers and not have to mess with it now this box is being supplied by uh, four wires of number two uh, SER cable. It's one big bundle that has four, uh, four number twos in it. And since it is a, an interior sub panel, we do not install the bonding jumper. What this does is bonds the neutral lug to the case. And uh, you know, unlike the uh, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean code, uh, you know, this is not a, <laughs> not a guide. Uh, you have kind of, if you want your electricity turned on, you, you have to uh, follow the rules there. So. Uh, you have to pretty much have to do things the correct way. Now this is a neutral lug up here and these are the two phase lugs and also you attach the ground wire to the neutral lug. So your power comes from here and it runs to there. You can either have 110 volts going from one phase to the neutral, uh, the neutral bar or you can go between both phases and you have your 220 volts, so that's how it uh, that's how that works. And then these are for your neutrals over here on either side, neutrals as well as grounds. I guess I should uh, make that clear. You're uh, uh, in Romex. You have a black wire, a white wire, and a bare uh, copper wire. Your white and your copper go to this, and your phases, uh, which is the black wire, goes to whatever the breaker is. It uh, clips in here. And your black wire will run to the circuit breaker there. So that's how that's that's how that's done. And uh, hope that makes things a little clearer. Uh, the way you make holes for for the uh, wiring through the structure here, uh, you just drill up, and then we're going to run up and then over and down into the walls where you have like this here. It goes you know up through the attic and down into the wall. So that's pretty much uh, how you do that. I'm going to set the camera down here and show you how, how it's done. Now for this, I'm using a Milwaukee Super Hog, which is a really handy 
uh, right angle drill that's uh, really popular with uh, plumbers and electricians because you can get it in places and it's got enough torque to drive bits like this. Now this is a uh, kind of a specialized bit. It is uh, a Greenlee nail eater. Here's the shorter version. They come in different sizes. Actually, I take that back. It is a nail eater two. This is only three quarter inch in diameter. This one is an inch and an eighth in diameter. And I'm gonna set the camera down here and show you how you use it. Yeah, yeah oops. <laughs> Sorry about this part. Uh, I don't have anybody to run the camera for me. Now, this drill is kind of loud, so I'm going to go ahead and pop in my earplugs. There's the bit again, or a different uh, size bit of the same fashion. And here it is, the uh, Super Hog. It has forward and reverse, and then you set your speeds down there. And this can take it, Let's stick it up here. And the nice thing about these uh, bits is they are self-feeding, so it will pull itself uh, up into the uh, up into the wood, so you don't have to push on it. So that's another big advantage of using uh, bits like these. Anyway, uh, subscribe, uh, click, and uh, comment, and all, and I'll uh, keep doing some more how-to videos. Uh, feel free to comment uh, if there's anything you want to see. I'll go ahead and try and put it up, and uh, yeah.